Hey guys, what's up? I'm here. Um, I just kind of woke up. You know, my hair's a mess. I'm probably going to get a shower in a little bit. But anyway, so I, um, just not too long ago, I woke up and was got this delivered to me. It's my first of uh, five college books, even though I'm taking four classes. Two of them are for English 102, and this is The Curious Researcher, A Guide to Writing Research Papers. Pretty much this book is about, you know, writing research papers, you know, and how to write good ones and not writing crappy ones. So I'll probably look through it later today if I have the time. Alright, so I don't think I've ever told you guys, I'm going to sit here and tell you guys about this, but I don't think I ever told you guys how we adopted Bailey. Um, we adopted her through this rescue program called Guardian Angel Bassett Rescue, or Gabber. Uh, it's in Dwight, Illinois, which is near Streeter, near Pontiac, uh, Illinois. It's up in that area, in the, you know, north-central Illinois area. But anyway, so, uh, I remember we had a dog before named Babs, who pretty much I had known, you know, since I was a little kid. Pretty much I grew up, you know, with her. And me and Evan, you know, my brother Evan, we grew up with her. And then she, and like the, the year when she passed away, she was getting really sick. You know, she would always throw up. You know, she just had problems. And so we had to finally put her to sleep, you know, unfortunately. But So then we joined this uh, group, Gabber. And we kind of just, you know, we, we wanted a basset hound. And, you know, I was thinking at first, you know, I've never heard of a basset hound, you know, because really... I wasn't really that much in dogs, or I'm not really into dogs as far as like, you know, all the breeds, but I know the pugs, you know, puggles, beagles, you know, mutts, you know, dobermans, chihuahuas, you know, not, not, not every single kind, but um, the majority of them. So we had found Bailey over there at uh, the adoption tent at the Waddle that year, 2004. And we just immediately fell in love with her. I mean, well, I think they uh, got her, and then I was at home, and then when they brought her home, me and her just went to the backyard, and we just played. We had lots of fun, and I've, I've grown up, you know, the last seven years. I think I was, I was 12 at the time when we uh, adopted Bailey, and now I'm 19, so... Yeah, she's like my best friend, you know, like my best friend, and if you want to add her on Facebook, <laughs> um, you can add her somewhere around here, I'm going to put the little link to where you can add her on Facebook, and if you want to add me on Facebook too, I mean, sure, you probably don't want to add me, but if you want to add Bailey, go ahead. That's a little story about Bailey, kind of a abbreviated story, because I don't really want to make it too long and make it sound like a, you know, boring bedtime story or something. But anyway, I'm gonna go, um, for now. It's, uh, kind of a nice day out, even though I'm not really feeling to go driving, because I don't feel like I can drive yet with this dressing in my mouth and all that jazz, but I'm, I'm gonna go, and I will see you guys, uh, later. Bye. Hi, Harris, number 12. Alright, guys, just a quick little outro to the vlog here, um... Watching this insane basketball game on TNT right now. It's Miami Heat and Atlanta Hawks and triple overtime. And wow. This game is kind of boring, but it's kind of exciting as well. Because overtime is always fun. But Yep, Atlanta's going to choke. Even though I'm not a Heat or Hawks fan. I'd rather have the Heat win this. Yeah, I know.